and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I want to celebrate my Lyric Graffiti, which is now four months old. I've had it for four months. Uh, celebrate hitting the 500 mile milestone. So 500 miles in four months doesn't sound like a lot, but miles do add up pretty quickly. And And when you have multiple bikes, then it might take a little longer unless you're riding that same one all the time. And I gotta admit, I do ride this one a lot because it's my favorite. I like it a lot. That's why I ride it a lot. Anyway, um, I wanted to get an idea what some of you out there put on for miles on your bike. Are you a uh, a daily rider, ride every single day. Do you pile up the miles pretty quickly? And how fast do you get to 500 miles or a thousand miles on your bike? I know I've had some folks tell me that they've ridden like thousands of miles on their bike. So far I've ridden, like I say, 500 miles on this bike and yet to have an issue besides the uh, battery fuse issue which has been rectified. That was not a mechanical issue with any of the uh, motor or anything like that, but I do have uh, one thing that will in time uh, need, will need to be replaced and that's the tires. They, they don't last forever, but so far 500 miles and we're still good to go so the only thing I've had happen is a flat tire on the rear wheel but uh so far so good on that one And this bike um, is an absolute joy to ride. I say it all the time, but it is. Just a beautiful bike to ride. Smooth, lightweight, fast. I'm currently in... Uh, legal street mode right now so uh, all good to go here beautiful day out for a ride celebrating 500 miles on the Lyric Graffiti. The uh, Having a gearless motor is so quiet Kind of a breezy day here today
So yeah, I just wonder uh, what everyone out there on your bike or bikes, how fast do you put up 500 miles on your bike? It's, you're probably laughing at me because four months? Yeah, four months. I mean, I, I did have a flat on the bike at one point and I did leave it for close to two weeks, I think, before I actually fixed it because I was busy and didn't have time. And uh, I'll tell you, when I got the bike fixed, though, the, the tire, I was more than ready for uh, to take it out. After not riding it for a few weeks, you know, that was, it was a lot of fun to get back on the bike. Pretty quiet here at King City Park. When you have a, a nice bike that's comfortable for you, Seating is comfortable. The bike is a, a nice weight for handling, which this one is super nice for handling. Um, it makes traveling uh, um, some miles seem kind of easy, you know? chase all the birds away, but I'm not meaning to do that, but... I wonder if I'll be doing a ride on this bike, same bike here, when it reaches 5,000 miles. Only time will tell. That's a lot of miles. And the bike world changes so rapidly. And we all get the itch to get a new one all the time, you know, we're, we're never satisfied. Uh, I don't know if I'll have this bike after 5,000 miles, as much as I like it. I don't know. Right now I would say yes. But let's see what the future holds. When you get into the bike world, which, I mean, I was, I was into it when I first got my first bike. I love bikes, you know, but uh, I'm getting more and more into this and loving it. So, uh, I don't know where it's going, but uh, I'm along for the ride and it's a fun one so far. Once you get into the bike world and get hooked, you're there. It's hard to let go. But it's not a bad habit to be in. Other than it costs money, it's not a bad habit. There's a lot worse habits than electric bikes. Best time of year was right now to ride a bike. The month of June. It's 
not too warm, it's not too cold. Nice sunshine, beautiful blue sky. Everything is so colorful this time of year. Good way to celebrate 500 miles on your bike. Like I got a piece of glass or nail in my tire, so I'm gonna head on toward home. It means I'm gonna have another flat tire to repair. So much for my 500 mile ride, it's turning into a not so good 500 mile ride. going to pull over here for a second and look at it one more time. It's either a nail or a piece of glass. See if I can find there it is. Yeah. Oh, maybe it's not. I don't know what that is, but it's not as bad as I thought. It's not going to be a flat tire after all. It's that there. I don't even know what that is. But anyway, I just left a little, barely a little dent in the tire, so that's fine. Good. Here I was worried that... Five hundred miles and a flat tire, but nope, we're good to go. I heard that noise and I had a feeling something was stuck in the wheel, but I wasn't sure, but, and I was thinking right away flat tire, but perfectly fine. That would not be good, because I've done really well on not getting flat tires. I've only had two, one on this bike and one on the Grizzly. And uh, after just fixing this one recently, and then having another one, that wouldn't be so good, because that's 500 miles and two flat tires, you can't have that. So. A couple of e-bikes there, but I couldn't see what they were. Good to see folks out on their bikes. E-bikes especially. I think that's cool. Any bike is good, but e-bikes are great. Alright, let's head down here.
See, I'm just in legal street mode, and yet I'm going down a little bit of a hill, but I got it up to 27 right there, so. I'm always leery over here where I am right now because this is where, in this stretch here coming up is where I got my flat tire. I think I ran over a roofing nail right around here. We have a bike lane, but then we have to go around trash cans. Oh, I don't like that. I think we need to have our bike lane over there. The other side of the sidewalk. Be great. My turn right there. I'm gonna go right here. Well, that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. Thank you for coming along on this video to celebrate my 500th mile. On the Lyric Graffiti. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, just hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up here in the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. If you want to leave a comment on this or any other video on the channel, just go ahead and leave that in the comment section. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, take care.